Hey there, campers. Stamet here. Greetings from the Cub World Administration Building here at the Dan Beard Scout Reservation in Loveland, Ohio. And as promised, when uh, we did our last video, it was a Leave No Trace style outdoor uh, campfire. But not everybody has the ability to go out into the wilderness or into your backyard. Some people don't have backyards. So tonight we're going to do a, uh, a campfire that's flame free and can be done indoors. So it's a campfire program. Remember, imagination is the key here. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you are like many scouting households, you have just staggering amounts of uh, Nalgene bottles. You've got, I mean, here's a, one of a checklist of the Philmont Peaks. Here's a nice purple Philmont one, a vintage red Peterloon affair, a knockoff blue fella. As many of these as you've got, it's going to be very helpful. A Friedlander classic and a lost and found one. So whoever you are, Bruce, thanks for this. Uh, we appreciate that. Next thing you're going to need is a light source. Now, I have a series of headlamps here because, you know, you can't have too many. So I've got a, uh, a Petzl Dang Doodle, which just does a regular or a dim. But my favorites are actually the Energizer Cheapos because they have a red light, which is great for reading, and a, uh, a strobe feature. Uh, if you don't have headlamps, that's fine. You can get some of those obnoxious little electronic tea candles or everybody's got a phone or a tablet or uh, an iPad, um, iPad, iPod, whatever, anything that has a, uh, a lamp on it, you can turn the, the flash on and that'll work. If, for whatever reason, you don't have any of these colorful water bottles, these days most people have access to a lot of... Um, takeout containers. So just to illustrate how easy this is, with your parent or guardian's permission, you can get markers and a, uh, a takeout container and color them. I've done purple and green and orange around just an old takeout container. Not a big deal. And since most people are in their homes and either going out only for the bare necessities or some food, just get takeout and use the container again. I mean, anything to reuse all this obnoxious plastic that we're chewing through. So the way that this is going to work is get your family together and figure out a creative way to stack these bottles up. You can do pyramid style and then realize that, oh, they all fall over. Or you can stack everything in a circle. Creativity is gonna be your friend here, just like imagination is. Because once everybody's gathered together in your living room or uh, in, in, a, in a bedroom, whatever room that you want, you can set all these things up, turn the light on, put it either in the middle of or inside of one of these uh, containers and then pile all the rest around. And before you know it, you've got multiple colors of light or done it at home, yeah, coming through with light sources. Now, the more light sources you have, the better. So what I'm gonna do is set this up and show you. In fact, let me go ahead and challenge each of you to do this better than I'm doing it because you and your family almost certainly have more headlamps or more phones. I would show you the phone, but I'm, I'm filming with it right now. So let me move these out of the way. I'll set it up, show you an example, and you'll be all set. And the next morning, the only part of him they found, the only bit remaining, was his merit badge sash and a note saying, help me. Ooh, I'm just kidding. It's, it's, not, it's not that scary. Uh, you can do anything. Once you've got this little layout, the same thing that I just finished setting up, and again, you can do this better at home, so please try it yourself and then share with everybody else because I want to see people do this big and do it right. It's, it's crazy. You can get fun colors on the walls and get your whole family. Sit around. If anybody plays an instrument, play some tunes. Sing some of your favorite camp songs. Share your favorite camp songs that you might have learned at camp and you've never bothered to tell your parents, Hey, look at this song I learned at camp. It's great. Or... Tell some ghost stories, tell some campfire stories. It's wonderful. Now, uh, if you've got questions on how to make this bigger or better, you can message the other members of your troop from a distance with parental permissions. Or if you'd like to see other cool skills like this for something you can do at home by yourself, then stay tuned to our future videos of scouting at home 
And remember, if you think you've got a really cool idea, we'd love to get you to submit your videos to us so that we can share them out with the rest of scouting. These are going all over the place, multiple states. It's really cool. So uh, everyone stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you next time for Scouting at Home.